Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Robert Dagg and I'll be your presenter for today's session. I wanted to thank you for attending today's webinar, Support for School Libraries. This is the last webinar in our series, How Libraries Can, Cha How Libraries Can Support Students and Educators During a Disruptive School Year. Today we have a really engaging session planned for you. Before we begin, a few housekeeping items to review with you to ensure a smooth session. First, this session is now being recorded. A link to the recording will be available to you in a few days after the webinar and will be shared to you via email. Second, all attendees' lines are now muted to avoid any sound feedback or interruptions. If you have any technical difficulties during the webinar, please use the chat box to communicate with me. I'll try and resolve this as soon as possible. Third, feel free to write any comments or questions throughout the, the session. If you don't have time, if I don't have time today to respond, I can follow up with you directly after the webinar or alternatively, alternatively my email address is on the screen. Great, now let's get underway. Small introduction. If you've attended any of the previous sessions, you may notice my voice as the MC. I work in marketing side for EBSCO and manage the Oceania region. I'm a Kiwi based in Melbourne and work closely with schools and academic libraries across the entire region. In this session, I wanted to share a range of resources that we have found from around the industry and EBSCO resources as well. Please feel free to use the chat box if needed throughout the session. I'll also be reading the comments after the session, so if you have any other ideas or websites, grant ideas or tips and tricks to share with fellow school librarians, I'll be able to share these later. I'd like to start by discussing grants and where to look. Our team in Australia and New Zealand started to collate the grants and resources of the ones that we are aware of for schools and school libraries. These are not by any means the only ones available, but will be a good starting point. On the webinar today, we have attendees from all over the region. So for the sake of time, I'll share the links in the chat box. As you can see, we have found a wide range of grants for New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and each state in Australia. Grants are a great way for school libraries to gain extra funding for resources with, for the library. One great grant example is available in New Zealand, sorry, Australia, is the Thomas George McCarthy Trust. It's for all lower North Island schools and you don't even need to apply. The grant reads, for registered schools with the Ministry of Education in the region receive a Millennial Library Grant for purchase of books, computer software and hardware for the school libraries. Most other grants you will need to apply, but, but for the effort, it can be a great result for your library and your students. And I am just posting that into the chat now. I would also recommend looking at your local state or country educational sites. I had a look at each of the sites and there were pages linked to grants available. Some were very easy to find, while others you had to dig a little. On these sites, I also found a wealth of information and resources, like resources for online learning, literacy toolkits, wellbeing, um, the New South Wales Educational website and the ISTE website have an interesting digital citizen education resource to help students dealing with the online world. You can also find plenty of information on curriculum and support for online learning where the library can play a role. For example, schools have long woven citizenship lessons into the curriculum, but now that much of our social interaction happens online, educators need to understand how to teach students about responsible digital citizenship as well. Rather than teaching digital citizenship, show them digital, digital citizenship and have it help solve real life problems that are relevant to them. Your library can help students make smart decisions online. Again, I'm just gonna post this into the chat line now. When applying for grants, make sure you are prepared and you've done some research. There are multiple sites and resources out there with tips and tricks, templates, and a good way to understand its structure. It can be rather daunting to think about writing grants, so these sites can be a great resource. 
we've compiled a few videos that we have found online and templates that are useful. I have posted the link now into the chat box and it would be worth viewing the videos and seeing the templates on the site. Note the top half of the page has some US based search engines and after today's discussion I am looking into creating a page uniquely for Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Islands. However, if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll find all the links and templates that we're discussing. That is now in the chat line. All of the tips we've talked about are available on the EBSCO Connect website. I wanted to make sure that everyone is aware of EBSCO Connect. Um, I have placed the website address into the chat box. Um, or after this webinar, feel free to Google uh, EBSCO Connect. Um, this is a one-stop shop for all resources as well as status updates and product help. But today, I'll just be going through the resource sections. We have a ton of EBSCO resources on here, as well as resources from other sites and associations. You may have actually seen this site if you were on the earlier webinar, Beyond Four Walls, where we talked about the integration with edu Google Education. We had all the information questions was housed on EBSCO, EBSCO Connect. Some handy resources on the site are news, updates, promotional items. We also have a scavenger hunt templates, which school libraries have been using to engage with their students. So this is a great first stop. Throughout EBSCO Connect, you also find lesson plans. There is one good page to start with, which I'll share. Then from here, you can also look into lesson plans by subject or multidiscipline. One great example to look, one great example on this page is look at the lesson plan spotting fake news. This has a template with a PowerPoint attached to it, handouts and posters. A tip with lesson plans on EBSCO Connect, you can forward these links onto your teachers in the school. This is not only a great way to help teach students, but also brings more of the library into the classroom. Working in marketing, this is an area I'm rather passionate about. Promoting libraries and their resources. When you get a chance, take a look at the promotional materials section. And here you'll find a world of options to promote your resources. You'll find posters, social media kits, as well as buttons and logos that you can use on your site and LMS system. Um, we are continuing to build out our resource and promotional packages. So keep referencing the site. You'll see new items come up regularly. So stay in the know. As I mentioned earlier, we do like to update our assets regularly. Therefore, I would recommend joining our newsletters. Our local school's newsletter provides updates and news. For example, did you know that we are working with Prend to Code Club now for libraries, which is a self-paced learn to code software for kids aged eight to 18. And if you'd like more information, let me know and I can pass it on. Training is another resource that is available to everyone. If you joined our session on Tuesday, you would have met Kylie, who is our trainer for the school and public library. Kylie runs a range of training webinars on a variety of our products and topics. They are live, or there is a catalogue of recorded uh, sessions that you can watch later. Best way to find out what is coming up with, for the month is either to go to our training website or join the training newsletter. Another resource is our website is brilliant. We have all the product information you'll need, as well as a blog, which is updated all the time. We currently have a COVID resource page on here uh, with a section for schools uni uniquely. There is also a section where we have success stories, so you can see what other academic institutes are doing. And we also have uh, schools Australia New Zealand section as well. I'm just gonna grab three of those links and post them into the chat box now. Again, I will email these out later, but I have posted um, the sign up for the newsletters as well as the training and the section on our website for ANZ schools. Great, thank you. Um, does anyone have any questions? If 
I don't have a particular EBSCO resource, can I still attend the training for it? Yes, absolutely. This is a um, rather common question. Yes, uh, if training is also a great way to have a look at a product. So for example, Novelist, if we go back to Kylie's session, if you'd like to learn more about Novelist, then join one of the Novelist training sessions. Uh, just because you don't have one of the resources, they are publicly faced um, sessions, so you can join as you would like. Do you know of any do you know of any grants in ACT? Great question. We're still looking into all the different grants available in each region. Obviously, it's been a bit of a disruptive year this year, so it's a bit trickier than usual, but you keep your eye out on our site. And also, as I said, um, as I said, there's also um, the federal and state groups as well to have a look out. Um, is EBSCO Connect, is there a cost or do we all have access? Uh, it's publicly facing. You can jump on, just jump onto that website. There is a sign up bit, but all the promotional pieces, you can download all the assets as needed. Um, so no, you don't need to sign up to use the those sections. The sections I shared to you today is free. Excellent. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to contact myself or any of the team here at EBSCO for any questions or queries. This is the final webinar of the series and I hope you found it, the series useful. Please reach out if you have any further questions. The video replay will be sent to you shortly. Have a great day. Thank you.